what you learned in school. Never mind what your parents told you and disregard what your friends say. From now on, the only people now on, you, you need to listen to, you need to listen are these guys. Are these guys. For the next several minutes, they'll take you on a journey through the political jungle. And when your journey is over and you're safe at home, they promise you'll be stronger, smarter, and just plain better. So buckle up, hang on to your ears, because your journey starts now. 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 Hello, I'm Brian. And I'm Nate. And from all of us here at the Ad Odd Show, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and a Happy, Happy New Year. Year. And welcome to Ad Odds. I'm Brian. Hey, and I'm Nate. And it's December 21st. Ooh, almost. Nate. Have you been good? It's it's 2015. Yeah. We're in Freedom Studios, right? We're in the yes. 15th floor of the Patriot Towers in Liberty City. Where at, Nathan? North Pole today. We're in the North Pole. The North Pole. It's warm. Every, it's busy. There's no polar bears. Busy. It's horrible. It all is the, very busy. All the polar very busy. All the polar bears and and you know I haven't seen a single penguin. Yeah, that, that's it's odd, isn't global it? warming. I think that's it. Global warming. Not one penguin have I seen at the North Pole. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> saw some. Uh, well, never mind. Um, Anyways, the elves have been busy, busy, busy. They're yep. packing Santa's yep. sleigh. Uh, I think uh, they're feeding uh, the reindeer a little extra high protein octane. Uh, it's heroin. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> they're giving them heroin. How else do they fly? You can spin it any way you want. I don't yeah. know how they do it, but <laughs> it, it's drugs. And uh, I think Santa takes a little speed himself. He'd have to, right? You know, twenty-four hours to think that reindeer fly, and one of them has a nose that glows. Yes, uh, yes. And uh, the fact that he's up twenty-four hours. Uh, Going all over the world. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Well, you want to do a little speed. Right. Well, yeah, he's got to be fast. It's good enough for Hitler. It's good Some enough for magic, Santa. Magic, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but uh, Godwin's, Godwin's Law, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, of course, we've got our uh, our trivia question. We've got our day in history. You're trying to chase him away right away, aren't you? And, uh, well, I'm the <laughs> we'll warn him before we go into yeah. that again. Uh, talk a little bit about the debate, I think. I uh, think... It- I think it's worth noting that it's Monday. I mean, you you glossed right over it. You're like, it's Monday. And I didn't want to bring that listening, up. They're like, wait, it's Monday. We, Normally, I'm not annoyed on Mondays, but I'm annoyed today. Why? <laughs> Nate had a family thing. I mean, he wants to be this good dad. He's faking everybody. Daughter has a recital. He has to go to. I said, just tape it. You can watch it anytime then. And let's do the show on Thursday. But, oh, no, he's got to go. To his daughter's recital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'll see you this Thursday then to do a show, Brian? No, I'll be gone. I'll oh, be, I'll okay. Yeah, with your family, my, huh? That's, yeah, family. that's weird. That's uh, weird, yeah. Yeah, there won't be a show this week. So we're sort of splitting it. Right in, in the middle. The this is yeah. good. And I think if we just did it every other Monday. Yeah, I think people would uh, thank us. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be less time they have yeah. to listen to the us. The good news is uh, people got to watch The Big Bang Theory without... Us interrupting oh, last week, right? So I didn't nice. watch it, so oh, don't spoil it. Oh I've my it. goodness, it was. I'm joking. Oh, but oh, poor, poor Sheldon and Amy. Oh yeah, lovers. Hmm. Well, what? Don't spoil it. I don't care. You you didn't really see it. I really didn't. Oh okay. Yeah. They do the deed. Oh. They bought a house. Yep. All right. They got a turtle. <laughs> they got a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> they committed. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, let's. I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Well, well awesome. We I want to give them a few things. We've got some sound bites, right? We've got mm, uh, yeah, unfortunately, all sorts of stuff. Um, we'll keep a no- uh, listen out for Santa, maybe. Oh my goodness! What, what? is that? Is that Santa's sleigh? No, 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 it's, no, it's, no, it's not. Budweiser Klondike. It's not that... Santa's sleigh at all. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the yards! Some some drunk. <laughs> yeah, is, Why are you wearing all those bells? Stop it! I don't uh, understand. All right, uh, so uh, yeah, we got a few things that we want to talk about. Uh, do we? No, probably. No, I mean, the biggest news. Yeah, right? this, there is, were a couple this is big debates. news. This is huge news. Yeah, uh, get ready. Listen to this. Lindsey Graham. Who? I don't. I thought you knew. I felt. I felt bad. I didn't. All right, what about Lindsey? Lindsey Graham, apparently he was running for president. He was. He's not anymore. He dropped out. 
How will the world survive? Did you know he's over 40 and he's single? Well, you know what that means. <laughs> yeah, I know what you think that means, <laughs> but I, it might be true, actually. But uh, He's just a look, little light in the loafers. He, nobody heard anything from him. He finally <laughs> dropped out, I think, today. <laughs> Dropped out. Hey, of the, I was the running. President. I was running, guys, <laughs> and I was fabulous. <laughs> it's really and, horrible. And now I'm not running. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I don't think anybody noticed. I don't think so either. And he's out of the race, and Santa's dog is nobody. Barking. Yeah, that's that's Rudolph. Rudog. Ru- Rudog. Yeah, that's good. That's not yeah, bad. thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, oh geez. Uh oh, what happened? So uh, structural failure. Before we continue, we got to say Merry Christmas to Steve, our engineer in the back room there. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Nice Santa Claus outfit. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, what? What's the dog doing? I don't know. It's Jeez, biting Santa's it's not in used the to ass. this. <laughs> that damn dog! Not, not used oh, to oh, this oh, on whack! Kicks it. So, anyways, uh, Santa's not a nice person, is he? Uh, not really. You know who's not a nice crank, person cranky. is Krampus. What about Lindsey Graham? <laughs> also not a nice person. Not nice per- We don't know that. He could be just delightful. He was uh he was the most uh militaristic. He was. Yeah. He was pro pro uh, war. Very, very pro war, yeah. He was a hawk. He was yeah, he was he was not a dove. He's good friends with John McCain. Well, of course. Who is you know they're exactly the same. Uh, let's just bomb them. Well, I think that's a good idea. Bombing some people is a good idea. Yeah, bombing everybody's not. There's a, good a dog idea. I'd like to bomb. Is bomb. there? Yeah. 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 Oop, maybe somebody did. Uh, let's see. What else do we want to talk about? We could talk about guns. Hey, I got a thing. This is a history thing. It's not the history, but it's history. <laughs> you know, there's some debate on who who uh, uh, invented gunpowder. Yeah. Generally. Credited to the Chinese because they actually had written records of it. You know, they they had it well documented, sure. and they're really good at fireworks. Um, right, but there's some other competing countries that may have had a, a similar concoction. But the person that was working—I mean, it's not complicated on gunpowder. No, it's pretty simple. It's like three compounds at a certain ratio. Yeah, what they were looking for was an immortality portion. Yeah, and that makes sense. They were trying to find the fountain of youth in this thing. Right. And instead, that whole research blew up in his face. Uh, (laughs) I don't. Blew up in his face. I don't get it. (laughs) But anyways, like so many things that are invented, they're serendipitous. One is Viagra, right? right. Viagra was a heart medication. Yes. It was to try to control blood pressure and all that stuff. And then uh, some people uh, took it. And they said, huh, ah, <laughs> hello, little friend. Well, Doc. <laughs> and uh, they said, hmm, maybe uh, maybe we we're onto something. Yeah. And they made, you know, billions of dollars selling that. And that's okay. Nothing wrong with it's that. That's okay. Anyways, glad they invented gunpowder. Now, the, what what, I'm, what I was going to say, gunpowder, they were going for in immortality potion. They didn't quite get there. But they did invent thing something that has saved millions of lives. Oh, I see where you went there. Yeah. Yeah, not immortal, but... No, no, but it's kept people alive longer yeah, than they, they, they may, they have, may have without it. But one could argue if there was no gunpowder in the world... Uh-huh. Then what? Then people would get stabbed. Oh, yeah, I forgot about knives and swords. And Cars. Stuff. Lasers. Tall buildings. <laughs> Tall buildings, yeah. Lasers? Nobody's ever been a- murdered with a, a laser. Aliens. Aliens have lasers. Yeah, that's true. But I don't think they've murdered anybody. You don't know that. They turn cows inside Look out. Look what they the did time. to Kennedy. What? <laughs> Too soon? Yeah. No, I think you're right. You're right. Uh, let's see. Um, so, anyways, gunpowder. Okay. Immortality. <laughs> Blew up in his face. <laughs> it's not funny. It, it was a little funny. Yikes. You know, government's here to help you. Yes. And you elect the best and brightest in the world, right? We elect our public officials. No, yeah. Well, you, yeah. Okay, that was obvious from last week uh, or two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah. We have our best. There was no choice. That's the problem. Represent. Well, that's that is part of the problem. Yep. Is good people don't don't run. But these were the citizens of Woodland, North Carolina. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
and apparently they don't want none of them highfalutin solar panels in their good town. I don't blame them. They scare the children. That's true. That is true. All the kids yeah. are going to move away, said That's Bobby true. Mann, a local resident. Yeah. Worse. Wait, what? Bobby Mann? Bobby Mann. What a great hey, name. Hey, Bobby Mann. Yeah. Me and Bobby Mann, we're playing in the band. <sighs> we wrote a song there. Uh, worse, a man who is, I think, probably the librarian in town, I don't know, said that the solar panels would suck up all the energy from the sun. Yeah, that's also true. Which, we kid about him being the librarian, but this is not funny, because another resident who is a retired science teacher right. expressed concern that a proposed solar farm would block photosynthesis and prevent nearby plants from growing. Well... It may prevent some. Oh, plants. wait a minute! I see the connection here. <laughs> that was Jane Man. <laughs> I think related to Bobby Man. <laughs> oh my God! Went on to add that there seemed to be a lot of cancer deaths in the area, and that no one could tell her solar solar panels didn't cause cancer. The problem was that they're not in there yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, I'm just saying. If you're thinking it's of having... It's expo facto. <laughs> yeah. I think that's okay. But no, look, yeah. the photosynthesis thing... Yeah. Uh, I think that's that's true. Okay, how? Right? Because if you have a solar panel, yeah, it would prevent some plants from growing underneath of it. Right. And so does a building. And so does a roof and uh -huh. a garage and a shed and a car yeah. and a pop tent and yeah. uh, all sorts right, of things. But most of those things sunlight. don't also suck all of the energy from the sun. Well, there is that. Because you do realize the sun has a or, limited lifespan, or, limited amount of energy to be sucked. My, yep. Yeah. In my in my uh, house, roof never gave me cancer, at least that I know of. Right. Damn you. Right. Damn you, roof. Right. Now these this is stupid. I mean, it, it's one thing if you don't want it for whatever reason, but come on, a science teacher? Yeah, it prevents. Photosynthesis, you know, in the shade, but still things grow in the shade. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But on, on the other hell, things uh, grow in caves on. in total darkness. On so. the other hand, there are but they probably don't use photosynthesis. My, my air so quotes. There yeah. are scientists who are claiming that putting these solar panels in are going to save the environment, right, well, and stop global warming. I don't, I don't know about saving the environment. Oh come I, on! No, no, no. I don't. I don't think that's necessarily you, true. Really? I think they're saying we, really? we need to develop technology that utilizes the energy uh, from the sun, uh, oh, and eventually well, we sure. might get to a. a, a place where that's economical and, yes and there are stuff. some sane people that are saying that yeah good good not no scientists but right no i bet there's some there's at least yeah, one there's scientist. some come on just because you don't like me don't blame all scientists i said it i know i didn't say anything oh boy we really don't have anything mm -hmm. else to talk about that's it all right well it's been uh, a good monday did you see any of the uh, – we're going through these too fast. That really isn't it. You skipped like six things. I, I don't know. know I was going to come doing. back. I was going to do the gun things. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to – look, I, I, I can't work all right. without a very strict prep, prep sheet and, yeah. and lay out an, an ag Alphabetically agenda. Alphabetically labeled. Have to do them in order. Intended, you can't move triplicate. them. I cannot – I can't work this way. Polychromatic, so you have, you know, Qs, reds, and greens, and purples in there. We do have colors. We do. We I do. know. I wasn't kidding. We have a color standard. Uh, it's either red or black. Putin on the Ritz, the Russian president, right? <laughs> People have wondered about the way he walks, and I never noticed it. So what? I, yeah, they're, they're saying who. He, Who's you people? Say people? Who? people say what it. What people? I said it. What people? He walks funny. What people have wondered? Lots of people. Oh, the CIA? The old war injury? Or is he an alien? Inside of a human body, but he doesn't quite fit. Well, there was that uh, thing that came up showing uh, pictures from 100 years ago that looked just like him. And they're saying, my God, he's, he's immortal. He's 5,000 years old. He Here's ate some gunpowder. That may have been it. Putin's walk. Uh -huh. Putin on the rich. <sighs> I have a headache. So... He walks, and how he walks is he keeps his right hand straight down, 
by his thigh and, and waist area on his right side. Where his gun is. And then, yeah. And then he swings his left hand like people normally would walk without a firearm. And so usually you swing both arms back and forth. Generally. Now, I mean, there's always variations, right? But generally you kind of swing both arms when you walk. Okay. He doesn't. I mean, it's when he's doing that, it's really obvious that it's it's weird. <laughs> and it's not only him, but there's some other uh, politicians in his uh, entourage yeah. that walk that way as well. Okay. And the speculation is that it's, you know, it's training, that's, that you yeah. keep your gun. And they actually looked at some of the KGB training and stuff, and they do emphasize keeping your hand yeah. at your side near your gun. Yeah. And that so makes sense. it may have been just a habit he picked up or he could be carrying, which I suspect he is. Why wouldn't he be? Yeah, right. Um, there was an exception, apparently, and there was one of his advisors or another high executive there that also walks that way but was never in the, CIA, or the KGB and was never trained as an officer or anything like that. They speculate that that behavior is, Shoulder problems. is mimicking and that it's very popular in Russia to mimic certain characteristics of your bosses to try to emulate them yeah. in some ways. So that may That's be why a, so many people ride horses without a shirt on. Or walk like I do. That's why so many Americans golf. Or walk like me. What? They, they, they want to emulate me. Who 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 wants every people who wants to emulate people you? do I, there's <laughs> people do people the same people that give a damn about how Putin walks now yeah that was the joke so thanks for saying, explaining it so are you saying that's what they call like a throwback what making a reference about we're people. not it doing was great. a comedy here we're trying to do a comedy uh, okay <laughs> we're failing we're six, oh. So what I did, of course, being you know a scientist and a researcher, I said you flew to Russia. No, <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I, I, damn, that's a good idea. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd love to go to Russia. Yeah, I bet you would. China too. Yeah, except during all the pollution. Yeah, North Korea. North Korea, not so much. No, not so much. <laughs> so I Google Putin walking, <laughs> and they have lots of videos. And there's one where it's a good example. <laughs> Really? Really. There are Putin walking. You will see videos wow. devoted to his walk. Yeah, okay. And there are little snippets of him walking. But one in particular was Putin walks alone in Russia. That was a big news. No security, nothing. He's walking down the street. And by God, he's walking, and he's got his right arm straight down. And that. But then <laughs> he starts swinging both arms. Yeah. And then he stops. Then he starts and then he, he, he skips. <laughs> Pulls a ribbon out of his pocket and starts twirling it. Yeah. That's not what he pulled out of his pocket. Mm-hmm. Vodka? So he doesn't do it exclusively. Sure. But. Just when he's in the bad neighborhood. Yeah. I guess. I guess well, he did it when he didn't have all security around him. Where Does he, he do it when he's here? I'm assuming so. Does he I come here? I, I did, he's been here, I think. I At least know. to the UN, yeah. I think he is. He might be here now. Could be. Visiting the North Pole. I don't think he's at the North Pole. You don't think so? No. I mean, it's... He's from Russia. What the hell does he want to go up where the snow is? I mean, he's got Siberia for that. Right. Okay. Let's... What do you want to do? You want to take a break? It's a little early for a break. It's it's never early. It's never too early for a break. For a break. Okay, No, really? No, go ahead. No. No, no, go ahead. You're running the show. All right. Um, Let's talk about this. You are a musician. No. You're not a musician. No. You don't play drums in a band? Uh, no. Okay. I didn't say good or oh, well. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I guess. So you, you've done a few gigs in bars, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's kind Three of or four. rowdy and it's crazy. And especially when you guys are playing, it's packed. Right? All the time? Sometimes. Yeah. So anyways, a SWAT team storms a Colorado bar after... The mic stand that somebody's carrying in to set up is yeah. mistaken for a shotgun. Yeah. No, I can see how that would happen. I can't. You can't. So Adams County Sheriff SWAT team forced their way into Lulu's Inn in Watkins, Colorado. Friday afternoon after there were reports of a man inside with a gun. The reported gunman was actually a man carrying band equipment. <laughs> Sergeant Jim Morgan 
said the man walked into the front door of the restaurant around 10.30 a.m. Employees saw the long, unfamiliar item yeah. he was carrying was a shotgun. Right. So employees and patrons all ran out the back door and called police. <laughs> now, I don't believe that for one second. Yeah, I don't believe it either. Arriving officers surrounded the building and convinced the man to come out. <laughs> which he did, holding was, his hands up. Was he? He was not. He was immediately. To come out? He was immediately shot down and killed. Yeah. No, I don't know. Well, his dog was. His dog was. <laughs> the, the dog's name was Singy. It's not funny. In the band. I don't Poor think it's dog. Funny. But you know, when you have a SWAT team, you want to use a SWAT team. Yeah, right. And any time you get a chance to tackle someone that carried a mic stand. Yeah. Now it may have been one of those mic stands that actually looks made like by a Beretta. Shotgun. <laughs> Well, no, I'm serious. You can oh. you can get a mic stand that it's, I mean, it's a gun. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a stupid idea. No, it isn't. I think it's a great. It's like a lamp. Does Ted Nugent have those kinds of mic stands? Ted Nugent doesn't have anything. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why? Well, well, no. Okey-dokey I don't know then. what Ted Nugent has. I don't either. Other than knee replacements or, yeah, it was his knees. Was it? Both knees, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's 66 or something, 67. Is he really? Yeah, 67. Wow. All right. Yeah, he's getting up there. Yeah. What so, was, any, what was anyway, his moniker? Ridic- uh, Ma- what? Motor City Madman or something? Yeah. Or, yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you see something, say something. No, right. And so when you're at the bar this Friday and the band starts to load in, call the police. I do every time you play. <laughs> they never <laughs> I show <know>. up. <laughs> yeah. They go, oh, it's that band. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about the mic stand. Not only, not only do we not want to go, but they suck, and we don't want to listen to them. That's right. Okay. My little town diners uh, had music the other night. Yeah, did they? Yeah, three men. Three men. Did you call the police? I did. Was there anybody in the bar with a gun? Just me. Okay. <laughs> well, well, yeah. No, I wasn't in there with a gun. Well, it's that. legal. I know it is. I know it is. But I was imbibing in alcohol. In fact, I would say... So I'm a good good citizen. In the area, you could go to any bar because any, any day, yeah. open carry, not have any issues. Right. I have a friend that goes into this big, huge bar several times open carrying, yeah. has dinner, and uh, just recently, somebody called the cops on him. Right. It happens. And they uh, apparently, after... Eight or nine years of informing law enforcement right, that open carry right. is legal. There was the Michigan State Police were there. The and they should know better Lansing for sure, Lansing City right? Police was there. Michigan State University Police were there. There Jeez. were like eight or nine officers. Took his gun and tried to tell him that it was illegal for him to have a gun in there. So the person pointed out the Michigan State Police legal update nineteen or number 86 which specifically addresses that very issue. Yeah. So he mentions it to him. So this trooper goes out to his car and pulls it up, comes back in and says, I read that whole thing, and it doesn't say you can carry in there at all. Uh Uh-huh. And so this person had his phone and said, oh, how about bottom of page two? Yeah, right there. It says it in words. Huh. Words are hard. They are. It's like math. They are. He goes, oh, no, 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 okay. Yeah. I mean, they screwed with him for like twenty Horrible. minutes. Yeah, and and they know better. I know, I know. Lansing Police Department sure knows better. Yeah, the state police should but, know better. But he said the state police took com- control right away. Yeah, but okay, that's fine. But I, which you would think they, they really know. shouldn't have because it was they're, Lansing's they're jur- jurisdiction. The ones that put out the legal update, right? So apparently, a letter is going to be written to the. Uh, Strong, dot will it be strongly machine. worded? It will be strongly worded. All oh, right, showing their I, disdain. I expect to see some action on that. You bet there will be. They're going to jump all over that. Jeez. So you know that's that's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. The good thing is it was all recorded. So yeah, he did point out he, he, the person did ask. Uh, now you see my gun, right? I am open carrying because you can open carry in a bar with a concealed pistol license, right? But it ha- you, you have to open carry. Yeah, right. So, uh, uh, and so. He says, you see, it's right. You agree. You all agree. All you officers agree that you can see it and it's open carry. Yeah, yeah, it's open carry. We agree. He goes, okay. All right. I got that on tape. So yeah. we know that sometimes they've come back and charged people with stuff. Yeah. So not out of the woods yet. But probably. Most likely. What was cool is the manager came over and said, we're so sorry about that. We did not 
call the police. You are more than welcome to come in here yeah. with your gun anytime you want. Please come back again, blah, blah, blah. And really, we're apologetic. So that was good. That's good. Yep. That's good. All right. It's time for a break now, Mr. Leader. Pretty close. Let's I do, want to mimic you. Let's do, uh, well, I see you are. You've got your hands down your pants. That's, That's perfect. Okay. Uh, a la Al Bundy, right, when he puts his hands Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Trivia question? Yes. What was the only president to also serve as chief justice of the Supreme Court? Oh, now, I, I don't know if I, I had this one before. The answer. But I don't know. Chief justice of the Supreme Court and also president of the United States. And uh, at oddshow.com, facebook.com slash at oddshow. We'll be right back. At odds. Hey mom, tired of getting paid peanuts working for someone else? Tired of that job interfering with trying to be a good mom? How'd you like to be in total control of your time and make as much money as you want to? Go to Income51.com for free information on hundreds of work-from-home business opportunities from the Moms Business Network. I'm a single mom, and when I found this opportunity, I was able to make $1,200 part-time my first month, fire my boss, and now work from home full-time around my kids. What mom wouldn't want to fire their boss, still make great money, and have the freedom to live the life she wants? I was working as a corporate executive. I never had time with my family. Then I got downsized. I decided I was never going to work for anyone again. What I like about this is I get to be my own boss, work at home around my family, and provide a great lifestyle. Go to Income51.com for free information today. That's Income51.com. Start earning great money as soon as next week. That's Income51.com. Income51.com. Did you ever look at the stains in your coffee cup and then realize that's exactly what happens to your teeth? Paraswabs is the five-minute solution to get your teeth white without visiting the dentist. This is John Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. And if your teeth are stained from coffee, tea, or smoking, all it takes is five minutes with Paraswabs. In five minutes, you'll see an average of two shades whiter teeth, and in seven days, six shades. It's clinically proven to whiten natural teeth as well as caps and veneers. The secret is a tooth detergent that was developed by Dr. Martin Ginniger that lifts stains off of your teeth. Best of all, there's no messy strips or trays that you have to leave in your mouth for an hour. Just swab your teeth for five minutes and you're done. To try Paraswabs risk-free, call 1-800-679-0476. That's 1-800-679-0476. I guarantee your bright white smile will have your friends talking about how great you look. Try it risk-free today. 1-800-679-0476. That's 1-800-679-0476. Hi, this is Jeff Carlisi from the band 38 Special. The mainstream media has failed the American people once again. Internet radio networks like Red State Talk Radio will not fail you. Tune in 24 hours a day. Studios A and B. Great conservative programming around the clock. Red State Talk Radio. The dominant force in Internet conservative talk radio. When our water heater broke down last month, it was a nightmare. It took five hours for the plumber to show up, and he charged us a couple of hundred bucks just to come out. And then it cost another $1,800 to put in the new water heater. By the time it was all said and done, I felt like I'd been taken. But what else could I do? The smartest thing you can do is get a home warranty from American Residential Warranty. Their home warranties pay to repair or replace all your major appliances when they break. And they will break. And at the worst possible time, call American Residential Warranty right now for free information on home warranties starting at just pennies a day. Don't wait for your refrigerator to stop running or your ceiling fans to stop turning. Call American Residential Warranty right now. Ask how you can save up to 50% on washing and dryer coverage. Just call 877-595-5381. That's 877-595-5381. Again, 877-595-5381. Call now. From now on, the only people you need to listen to are these guys.
Well, that wasn't right. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's try this one. Hello, I'm Brian. And I'm Nate. No, and that's, not, that's not it either. Let's <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. I just want to say that those two boys, Nate and Brian, have been very naughty this year. Ho, ho, ho. Boy, they. Wow. Steve really screwed that up. If there's anybody that screwed that up, it was Steve. Wow. All right. <laughs> We're well, back. You're listen, is, listening to Ad Odd Show. This is, this is, this is Brian. the Rush Limbaugh Show. <laughs> this is Brian, and that's uh, Nate. Say hi, Nate. Hi, hi, Nate. Hi. Hi. Nate's getting up and leaving. All right, our trivia question. Who is the only president to also serve as Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court? Oh, do you want me to guess? 1921 to 1930. Can I guess? Sure. Can I guess? Sure you can. Can I guess? George Bush. No. Was oh. it Ben Franklin. <laughs> no, it was William Taft. Oh, William Taft served as I thought a it was Kelvin Justice Coolidge and uh, the president. It's around the same time. I also have this day in history if you care to. It's about terrorism. Yes, Islamic yes. terrorism. Yes, because that is very important. Really? All right. This day in history in 1988, Pan Am Flight 103 from London to New York explodes midair over Lockerbie, Scotland, killing 243 wow. passengers, 16 crew members, as well as 11 residents on the ground. Bomb was hidden inside an audio cassette player detonated in the cargo area when the plane was at 31,000 feet. The disaster was believed to be an attack against the United States, with 189 of the victims being American. Islamic terrorists were accused of planting the bomb on the plane. They actually had a couple people that were Libyan uh, secret agents. Gaddafi wouldn't uh, wouldn't release them, but finally did. They were released to Scotland, not the U.S. One was found guilty. One was acquitted, right? One that was guilty was sentenced to life, but they let him out in 2009 because he had a terminal illness. 2003, Libya did accept responsibility for the bombing, but didn't express remorse. Hmm. Wow. So that was pre-9-11. Let's listen to our president reassuring us about terrorism. Yeah, I mean, he would know. He would. At this moment, our intelligence and counterterrorism professionals do not have any specific and credible information about an attack on the homeland. That said, we have to be vigilant. As I indicated in my address to the nation last week, uh, we can are in a new phase of terrorism. PM her or something and say, including hey, lone actors can you keep it and small there, groups of terrorists, like those in San Bernardino. Because they are smaller, often self-initiating, self-motivating, they're harder to detect. And that makes it harder to prevent. We're stepping up our efforts to prevent attacks here at home. As I said, the NCTC is constantly sharing information with our state and local partners. Across the country, more than 100 joint terrorism task forces are the action arm of this fight. Federal, state, and local experts all working together to disrupt threats. At the state level, fusion cells are receiving tips and pushing information out to local law enforcement. And finally, one of our greatest weapons against terrorism is our own strength and resilience as a people. Now, that means staying vigilant. If you see something suspicious, say something to law enforcement. It also means staying united as one American family, remembering that our greatest allies in this fight are each other, Americans of all faiths and all backgrounds. And when Americans stand together, nothing can beat us. So if you see somebody carrying a mic stand into a bar, say something. Right, because law enforcement is there to protect you. Oh, wait. Not so much. <laughs> so that's it. I feel much better. better. Yeah, I don't no, think I'm anything happy. will happen over Christmas. I, I think uh, yeah. Yeah. after all, there, there haven't been any terror attacks on U.S. soil in decades now. So that's good to know. Yes, 
I think part of the problem might be um, when you listen to the Department of Homeland Security Deputy Direct Director that was grilled by a committee when they asked, like, how many people have overstayed their uh, visa and how many people are on the no-fly list and how many people this or that? And she goes, I don't have that number. I don't, don't know. That number. Don't, don't know. know. Don't, don't know. I have that number. But yet they want that one of the goals is to uh, ban firearms from people on the no-fly list, yeah. which is absolutely unconstitutional. And uh, Trey Gowdy has, I think, a great couple of minute uh, talk when he does grill the same woman, this deputy of uh, Department of Homeland Security. She has a really long title. Very long. It's like 15 words yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah, really. She can walk really. on water and everything. Mm-hmm. Anyways, Trey asks, asks her a little bit about what's the process of getting on and off the the no-fly list, and is that a good thing to do? You want to play that? Let me ask you another question about the terrorism list. What process is afforded a U.S. citizen, not someone who's overstayed a visa, not someone who crossed the border without permission, but an American citizen, what process is currently afforded an American citizen before they go on that list? Hello? I'm sorry. um, There's not a process afforded the citizen prior to getting on the list there is a process should someone feel they are unduly placed on the yes list. there is and when i say process i'm actually using half of the term due process which is a phrase we find in the constitution that you cannot deprive people of certain things without due process so i understand mr good's idea which is wait until your right has been taken from you, and then you can petition the government to get it back? I understand that that's his idea. My question is, can you name another constitutional right that we have that is chilled until you find out it's chilled, and then you have to petition the government to get it back? Is that true with the First Amendment? Sir, there are strict criteria before... That's not my question, ma'am. That is not my question. My question is, what process is afforded a United States citizen before that person's constitutional right is infringed, then he's fine with doing it with the Second Amendment. My question is, how about the first? How about we not let them set up a, a, a website or, or a Google account? How about we not let them join the church until, until they can petition government to get off the list? How about not get a lawyer? How, how about the Sixth Amendment? How about you can't get a lawyer? until you petition the government to get off the list. Or my favorite, how about the Eighth Amendment? We're going to subject you to cruel and unusual punishment until you petition the government to get off the list. Is there another constitutional right that we treat the same way for American citizens that we do the Second Amendment? Can you think of one? Can you think of one? I don't have an answer for you, sir. I think he missed the best one, the, the Third Amendment. Yeah. How about we make people quarter soldiers in their house right. until they petition the government to get taken off Move the no-fly the hell list? out of here. Which, by the way, yeah, there is a process to be taken off the no-fly list. It's not really easy. It's on, owner, onious. Onerous. Onerous. Owner, and hard. onious. And odious. It's odious for sure. Yeah, it's 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 crap. But it's... But it, that was in regards to Obama trying to deprive gun rights from these. Yeah, because that's the idea now, right? right? Is that uh, and that's a bad idea. They, yeah, they they want to take, they want to make it so if you're on the no fly list, you're a suspected terrorist, you can no longer own a firearm it, or it, buy a really, firearm. Really, yeah. and that's not an exaggeration. That's what right. They yeah. want to do right. And the thing is, that's a powerful tool for any government because they could put anybody on that list. Mm. Political enemies, they want to get back at somebody. Somebody is bad mouth the uh, the government in some way or embarrass the president in some way. Oh, you're on the list. You know, you're losing your they could do that to every gun owner. Right. If they wanted. Right. It's uh Yeah, I mean I mean in his point at some point people are gonna not stand for that, but that's a what? bad idea and I don't no. think I don't think they can justify doing what they want to do in any way. And I'll be surprised if they do it. 
because they're getting a lot of blowback. Well, we did hear from the White House that after uh, the Christmas break, yeah, a- after the new year, Obama is planning to do some sort of executive action on on gun control or gun safety. I mean, it may be. Yeah. Well, it, that it, might be part of it. It might be. He's pushing. He it. might try it. I suspect he's going to try to do some kind of uh, you know uh, a black rifle ban of some sort. Or you think so? Magazine Via restrictions. executive action? Yeah, I think really? so. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, though. I mean, last time he threatened to do something like that, it was pretty innocuous because he, he really he just, can't do anything. He just uh, he, ordered an agency to do a study. To do a study, yeah. Things like and that, so that, right? that, could, that could happen this time where he does something similar. Yeah. Pointless. I, I don't know. Yeah. It's, you know, it's a background issue, too, I think. He might do something now where he... You know, he demands all federal agencies involved, like the ATF or FBI, to start um, making the state share yeah. their databases of, of people. Yeah. I mean, that's one thing that might be able to implement. Generally, the states will say, okay, then give us money to do that. Right. We're not going to do it. Yeah. That's been one of the sticking yeah. points. So I don't know. They we'll don't see. stop, do they? They don't seem to stop. I don't know if it's getting any worse. It's getting stupider, I think. I mean, they're... they're well, I think they're losing. They're grasping at straws. Yeah. Yeah. Because definitely the majority of people now feel that there shouldn't be any kind of so-called assault weapons ban. Mm-hmm. Um, more and more people are becoming gun owners. Right. More and more people are supporting the Second Amendment as an individual, right? Yep. So I think the tide is turning in that regard despite the spin by the media and by the government. Right. Speaking of, you know, ridiculousness in uh, regards to guns, we've talked about school issues before and their zero tolerance well, and their ridiculous stuff. Is it a gun issue? <laughs> Th- this is. Well, well, I know, I know. Uh, no, yeah, absolutely, it it's a gun issue. Okay. Um, in Texas, of all places, the bastion of supposed, you know, yeah, right. Wild West crazy. Hey, they have Everybody open carry now. Guns. They do. And the police are still fighting it tooth and nail, at least some of them. Yeah, of course. You'll have blood in the street. We're going to prone you out. We're going to shoot you. Oh, my God. All this stuff's going to happen. All they have to do is look at 49 other states to see that's not what happens. But Texas is different and unique. Oh, that's not Texas. Oh, I mean, that's what they sound like. I know. All right. So uh, Roseburg, Texas, a seventh grader wore a shirt. Oh, jeez. Yeah. The audacity. Really? We've, well, we've had the, you know, the kid that wore the NRA they, shirt and all. Yeah, That's but cool. seventh graders wear shirts? And it was a Star Wars shirt. No. Oh. <laughs> and it had a stormtrooper on uh, it holding a weapon. The poor kid. A weapon. They should have sent him home. They didn't. I know. But apparently he's worn it several times without any issues. Yeah. But Thursday was the day. Yo, this is the line. You shall no go no farther than this. This is the line. Thursday broke the camel's back because uh, they told the kid, hey, that shirt's banned because it has a gun. Or at least, you know, a picture of what is yeah, it's, in the it's movie, not a, a weapon. It was, yeah. It's a, it's a blaster or something. I yeah, don't know it's what not. It is. It's, now you're offending all the Star Wars fans by not knowing what it is. I, I don't. Well, see, look, it's see not a, I've, I've dated women. So I. Yeah, you know, that's why I said I feel bad for this poor kid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, it's, uh, now you really offended every, especially the ones that are over mil- 40. Millions and millions of people have seen Star Wars and love it, and I've insulted them all. Yeah, yeah especially the males that are over 40 and are single. Yes. <laughs> like, Lindsey Graham. Yes. But, but, just, just call look, me Lindsey. Look, I, I never. I guess I never made that connection. <laughs> of course, you didn't. <laughs> it's kind of sad that I did. Yeah, it is. So, anyways, where you, were we? You this were going to say really something. So this is this is this is Star Wars. I don't know what I was saying. Oh, I'm just saying it, it's it's yeah. not really a gun right. anyway. But but it's, it doesn't matter if it's a gun. It's ridiculous. It's a shirt with a picture on it, right? And I don't think it was gory. Which no, 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 maybe no, no, no. is one thing. No, no, no. It's just. A, 
almost an abstract image. Had a of the stormtrooper on stormtrooper, there. Stormtrooper, you know, and he's carrying what looks like pew, you know, pew, some pew. kind of pure. He's a, he's not going to hit anything. He's a stormtrooper. Right. It's not like he's going to damage anybody. He might blow At up a starship here or there, yeah, right. but, but never a, a person. So anyways, the spokesperson for the school district says, Our handbook spells out potential violations of dress code. The list includes symbols oriented towards violence. Right. So stormtroopers are very violent. That could be a lot of things. I think, you know, a picture of a crucifix is yeah. a symbol of yeah. violence. Yeah, absolutely. Um, anything that has to do with the government is a symbol of uh, violence. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah that, that's a good point. Right? I mean, that's I have a, a picture point. of the, the White House. <laughs> yeah, I might. Ch- well, <laughs> more violence has come out of that house than you yeah. know, any other no, house good, in the country. That's a good point. Thank you. That or the Capitol building, right? Either one. Yeah. Either one. Yeah. 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 Mm. Every every police and sheriff's department building. Administrators say they did not reprimand the student, though they could have required him to change or assign him an in-school suspension. What's an in-school suspension? <laughs> you. It, you go to the detention hall. In my high school, we called it the dungeon. It was actually under the auditorium stage. Wait, wait so you, you spent all day there? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Nope. So they deprived you of an education when you're actually well, at I the mean, building? Well, I mean, you still do your work and stuff, but yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I, I think that's an oxymoron. You sit down in there, and you're not allowed to talk or anything. Well, I understand what detention is. Usually that's after school for some period yeah, of time. school suspension is like you spend a week going to... Detention hall or whatever From it is, like eight in the morning during the day. Three. Yes, yeah. huh? Kind of like doing stir, huh? In the big house. Yeah. Well, right. But I, I, I. What? What's the difference if you're in detention hall or in the classroom? I, I mean, what you're saying, right? All you're doing is saying you're not allowed to learn from the teacher, right? Right. You have to learn this on your own. And since you're a trouble kid, apparently, yeah. you wear Star Wars shirt. You're the prime candidate which, for us which, to pull out which, of class. Which, be, which begs the question, why do I need a teacher then at all? Great question. Yeah. Very good question. So I think it, it's, you know, it defeats their whole purpose of their existence. I This kid's learning on his own. We can't have that. I had to uh, turn a shirt inside out one time. Well, anyways, they only made him zip up his jacket. Right, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, what about your shirt? I did. I, a teacher. Yeah, but it was Miss January, I think, wasn't <laughs> it? it? it was, yes. <laughs> No, I don't And remember. it was August, so that's why it they was, did it. Uh, it was like a No Fear shirt. I don't know. You don't remember, of course, but that was a brand at one point. What did it say? It said, oh, it said, uh, losing is nature's way of saying you suck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I had to turn that inside out. Because it, it, a... it, said, it said suck, and it was very offensive, and it hurt kids' feelings. Yeah, but now people say suck all the time. Well, we, I, yeah, we weren't really allowed to all the time to say it. No, but I mean, it's almost in the vernacular now of everyday yeah. speech. It doesn't yeah. actually mean a sexual act. It just I, means I, things I had are a bad. speech teacher, actually, that if you said suck or other words, depending, but suck, you, you'd have to put like a quarter in her, her bad word jar. Huh. She made you pay her. You know what I'd say? <laughs> suck that. Yeah. She had a really nice Did car. You? That's, yeah, it was <laughs> weird. <laughs> I'm serious. It's just a coincidence. I, I'm absolutely serious. Every month the jar was empty. Yeah. <laughs> she, How can she, you afford a Porsche? Uh, she had a Jaguar. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm, I'm not joking. Brand new. Wow. Huh. Well, maybe I, she, she had a sugar day. I never made the connection. that <laughs> Until just now. Yeah. Son of a. That sucks. You know how many times I said suck in that class? That sucks. Enough <laughs> yeah, to buy a yeah. new yeah. car. Huh. Oh, boy. Uh, no, that's it. Uh, okay. I thought I had another one. Oh, this one's a so good one, So did you go see the new Star Wars? Because that's a thing. No, I told you. What? I have a oh, sex yeah, life. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, you don't. No, I don't, but I did. You have. I have had in yeah. the past. Uh, continuing in that vein of schools. Okay. Uh, apparently, this was a school. I don't know where it was. I can't remember. Um, not important. Principal rejects student yearbook portrait with rifle because it's... Quote, illegal. Right. Right. One bans the carrying of weapons on school property. Another prohibits publishing of materials in school-sponsored media. 
One what? What are you talking about? These are the rules that they're applying. One of the things they do is ban weapons, and the other is publishing material that violates federal or state law, promotes violence, terrorism, or other illegal activity. And a third ban, clothing that advertises or promotes weapons. None of these things applied. Well, you don't know that. I do know that because the principal says, while acknowledging none of these policies specific prohibit photographs of weapons from appearing in the yearbook, it's the combination of those three policies that we've interpreted to prevent it. How do you, how do you combine them? Like the one that I says clothing that has weapons on it? Yeah. It wasn't clothing with no, weapons on it. No, no, um, that's no one. Let's see. Uh, he's not promoting anything but safe gun handling. Right. Of uh, which millions of people enjoy firearms. Oh, weapons on school property? Didn't do that. It was on private property. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, violated state law, maybe. Not against the law for him to possess a firearm or to take a picture to of himself ho- to holding hold a, it. Yeah, a right, firearm. right, right. Yeah, no. Was he a terrorist, though? It could have been. You don't know. He, he could have been. He was, wearing, he was wearing red, white, and blue clothing. Okay. Yes. And there was a flag in the picture, a U.S. Was, flag. Oh, well, that's the problem. So maybe that was the terrorism part. Is this, is was it really? Was the background the, the American flag? Yeah. Well, not background. It was, he was by a flagpole out in his yard. Oh, okay. And so is the flag the, was hanging there. Is this the picture that was rejected? Because I saw an article. I didn't read it because it was ridiculous. Yeah. But it was about a, a yearbook picture rejected because it contained the American flag. Was that the same one or is that I a different one? I don't. I think that's a different one, although Maybe, I'm not yeah, positive. So, uh, you can pull up the link I have in our. So page. I don't know how you combine these, other than if you combine yeah, the words. So, I think they're going to reevaluate that Good. And, and maybe do it. I know that the father, I think, was going to sue or threatening to mm. sue. Mm-hmm. Uh, stuff will come from that, but that's ridiculous, and that's the uh, phobia of firearms. You know. Yeah, a picture. A picture. What did they? What I, are there? Are, Brian. Are, well, you know the pop actually, card. I mean, the drumstick. The are there actually fingers. people that look at a picture of somebody holding a gun and it gives them anxiety? I mean, is that oh, real? I'm sure there are. I know people say that, but is it I'm real? Sure, I'm sure. Are you? How do you? How do you prove that? How someone feels? You can't. I do can't. That. I don't know. Well, you but. could. You could uh, measure their phys- physiological responses and see if it correlates to a stressful situation. You could do a test yeah. on that. Let's do it. Doesn't necessarily mean you can determine if it's fear. But do you have a you could physiological tester machine? I do. Okay. Can we can we do it's, the study? It's, it's called my hand. I take the pulse. Yeah. Cops used to do that. I don't know if they still do that now. If they're talking to people, they'll put their hand on their chest and they'll go. Oh, you're, you're you're guilty. Your heart's beating really fast. You must be guilty. No, I'm being stopped by a stormtrooper that's scaring the hell out of me because you pointed a gun at me. Maybe that's why my heart's beating fast. Stormtrooper? God. I'm worried about all the innocent people that are standing behind me. That... Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, um, I don't know if they do that anymore, but I doubt it. I've I've seen videos of them doing that and claiming that was you know reasonable suspicion that they're guilty of something. Yeah. Really? I mean, oh, well, anyways. look, they've... They do all kinds of stuff. Uh, we, I, I've heard a lot of things being claimed as reasonable suspicion. So uh, that's it. You have two minutes to fill. No, I don't. This is your show. This um, is your show. Well, then I'll, uh, I'll do more of this. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. How was that? That was, that was amazing. That was good. Yeah. No, that was amazing. We could go out and with Silent Look, do you Night. have what, what? What are your plans for Christmas? You're, I'm going to go. Going to visit family up north. Visit my family, my sister, brother, my mom. The Santa in laws. Santa comes Christmas Eve. Nice. We nice. have a big uh, buffet spread at my mom's place. I'm going to bring a smoked toiki, yeah. which I love. Probably some sausages. Yeah. Pies. Ooh. I'm going to have sweet and sour meatballs. Mm. Mm. Macaroni and cheese. Uh, so can I come? You are more than welcome mm. to come. Really? Yeah, sure. More the merrier. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have the in-laws there. I'll put and... some thought into it. Okay. Bring a dish to I pass. won't be there. Okay. I put some thought into it. <laughs> well, that was rather quick. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. It was. Uh, okay. Oh. No, That's how about good. you? You're going to go see both sides of the family. I no, we already you. saw one side. Okay, That's the done. hell with them. Yep. <laughs> They're out of the way. Yeah, Screw them. We're, we're done, so yeah. we'll move on and... 
Yeah, we're really not going anywhere. You're staying at your house? Yeah, pretty much. Huh. Yeah. Are you going to have a nice meal? You gonna no, we're probably going to order Chinese food like we do every year. Sure, that's a good way. That's what we do. Oy vey. Yeah. <laughs> Just like the Jewish people. Yeah, Santa they... does come and the, the, that stupid elf thing leaves. I punched him in the nose on the way yeah. to the studio. Yeah, that's good. So he's now lost his magic, so he'll disappear forever. Maybe that would that's be good. Go. All right, we are out of time. All right, Merry Christmas. See Happy next, New Year. Uh, see you next year. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nope. <laughs>